make a turn like this. Just keep pressing F10. Now I'm in the BIOS. So I'm going to show you how to change the boot order. Boot orders right there. You could select for uh, UEFI if you're using UEFI BIOS or legacy BIOS. So the first, if I want the hard drive to be the first boot device. Just press enter and move it up like that. The way I want to configure it is I want the CD-ROM to be the first device. And the hard drive. I could change it like that too. So USB hard drive that's stuff that's um you if you want to boot via USB ISO or something, then you could do that. That's you hard USB hard drive. You could change the configuration for that too. For UEFI you could do the same thing. You can go to here. I want C D ROM to be the first. Don't care about USB floppy. I want hard drive to be second. Actually, I want that to be second and the hard drive to be last. So I just changed the boot sequence. Press F10 to accept the changes. Okay. Escape, I don't want to do anything. I want to see what device configuration is. So those are the storage devices that are on my computer. It's a 500 gigabyte hard drive and a CD-ROM or optical drive on the bottom where it's a CD-ROM. Press escape. And that's how you change the boot sequence on the HP ProDesk 600 G1 single small factor form computer. So after you're done, you could go to save changes and exit. Yes, and that's it.